My name is Linda White. I live in Charleston, South Carolina. My, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2012. Um, prior to the discovery of my cancer, I had been sick every two months for three years. I went to the doctor multiple times and all they would do is blood work and blame my high sugar levels from my diabetes. Um, I knew that couldn't be right because <laughs> if it was my diabetes, I'd be sick all the time, not just every two months. I missed three Thanksgivings in a row. That's how precise the sickness came on. Um, what happened is uh, before I could go for an ultrasound, my ankles swelled up and my doctor was already booked up and I saw her partner and he sent me right to the hospital to have a venous ultrasound of my legs for, to check for blood clots and he sent me for an ultrasound of my stomach. Before um, I could leave the hospital, they insisted on me staying. Um, I couldn't understand why after three years I suddenly wasn't allowed to leave the hospital, but um, they did a CT scan of my abdomen and my pelvis area, pelvic area. After that, I was admitted to the hospital and a doctor from the hospital who I did not know came in and told me I had bladder cancer. That was sort of shocking because I had, you know, in the search for why I was getting sick all the time, I had recently seen a urologist who had done a cystoscopy, uh, which is an internal scan of your bladder, and he had found nothing. Um, he wasn't available, but his partner came in, read the scan, and told, he also told me I had bladder cancer. Um, the following week, I saw my own urologist. He repeated that test, and he said I did not have bladder cancer. Within an hour of returning home from that visit, I got a call from Dr. Jennings' office. He is a uh, gynecological oncologist, and he told me I had to come right into his office the next morning that I had ovarian cancer, and that is how it was discovered. The reason I was so shocked is I had already had a full hysterectomy 18 years earlier, so I would never suspect that I could have ovarian cancer. Um, the doctor who had done that surgery had left in a small part of ovary attached to a blood vessel, and that developed into a six millimeter tumor. I also had endometrial cancer, which had wrapped around my right kidney. Um, after the surgery, uh, about six weeks later, I was put on a round of chemotherapy, six rounds, and I received carboplatin and taxol. When I had my first treatment, it was nothing like I was prepared for. I didn't get nauseous at all. I had an incredible joint pain. I couldn't even move. I Even laying straight in bed, I was in agony. That lasted a couple of days. And it really scared me because I still had five more treatments to go. I started calling around the area to see if any other hospital or doctor gave a different chemotherapy regimen, and they actually did not. But through my connection at MUSC, they referred me to a neurologist who did work with cancer patients. He intervened with Dr. Jennings on my behalf because of the effect the Taxol was having on me. Um, because of that, Dr. Jennings took me off the Taxol and put me on carboplatin and Taxotere. I did not have the joint pain, but my hands swelled up like I had Mickey Mouse hands. They were so huge. Um, what they had to do is I got one week off with only carboplatin. I didn't have to do Taxol or Taxotere to try and give my body a break. Um, after the six rounds of therapy, I never quite recovered from the effects of that Taxol and Taxotere. It, what's happened is I have neuropathy, not only from the chemotherapy, but from the diabetes. So I never totally regained the proper use of my hands and my feet are numb and I lose my balance quite a bit. Um, the good thing of all of this is I'm cancer free. <laughs> what I would like to tell people is that you know your body best. Even though it took three years and multiple visits to the doctor, I did find the cancer. It was, after all that time, it was a relief to know there really was something wrong that they could actually work on instead of not knowing why I could get sick that much.